Uh, here's a good question. I've referred on, I've relied on referrals to grow my practice. Uh, so the concept of investing budgets in marketing is one that's a little overwhelming to think about. I'm not sure it's 100% necessary. Uh, this would be redesigning my overall operations. Do you have any advice? Um, I'll take that one, Ash. Uh, we, have, we have little business cards that we give out to everybody we work with. And the business, literally a, a business card, it's a plastic business card. Mm -hmm. And on these cards, they are a cheat sheet for what a successful practice is. 25% um, of your collections to labor. Uh, you know, uh, depending on what kind of growth you want in your practice, if you're in maintenance mode, if you're in growth mode, if you're in hyper growth mode, or if you're in decline mode, we give you a matrix to look at referrals as well as marketing. Uh, if you want to grow your practice, there's two places you get new patients from, referrals and marketing. There's only two. So if you say to me, Colin, I want to grow my practice and only 25% of my new patients are going to come from referrals, then I'm going to say, okay, then you have a choice. Either you're going to have to market and here's what that looks like, or you're going to have to figure out how to get 50 to 75% of your new patients from referrals. It's, this is formulaic and uh, nobody is immune. This is, this is like the law of gravity. Nobody's immune to it. Uh, the only two ways you grow your practice are those. So if you don't want to spend money on marketing, then you need to have an insane referral system that is growing your practice. And the reality is that costs money as well. Remember, you're writing a check on both options. One of them, you're writing a check to marketing. The other is you're writing a check to build and grow whatever that referral system is. And the check you're signing may be for your own time, right? It's not always for money, but you are signing a check. Uh, and if you want to quantify, if you're a doctor operating at 600 an hour, 800 an hour, 1,200, 2,000 an hour for our implant practices, when you're building and implementing and revising and driving that referral program, you're not a dentist doing dentistry. So whatever your average hourly is, you're not producing. You're signing a check. And I think uh, it, what, what we often see when we have a practice that hasn't ever spent money on marketing is it's like the old adage, your time always expands to fill the space you have right? Everybody's schedule is always full. It's remarkable. It's remarkable that everybody's schedule is always full. Well, just as your time always expands to fill the available slots, you always feel busy. So does your budget. You only have a hundred percent of your budget to give. And what we see in practices that have never done marketing is they often have 30 or 35 or 40 percent of their collections go to labor. They have 10 or 15 percent of their collections going to their practice, their lease, or their building expenses. That you often look at their labs and they haven't revisited lab expenses in forever. Uh, and they're paying 10 percent or 15 percent on their lab expenses. And you start to go through these things and you realize, well, there's where all the marketing money went. And then on top of that, their referral system is generating nothing or they don't even have a referral system. So they're really in decline mode. There's really no such thing as plateaued in any business or dental practice. You're either going up or you're going down. And if you're not going up, you're going down. Uh, and uh, yeah, if, if you've never done marketing before, uh, I would challenge you to start by common sizing 2019's profit and loss statement. Turn your profit and loss statement into percentages and start looking at those percentages and start averaging them. And get a copy of our plastic, our, our quick reference business card and start looking at where our numbers are at versus where the top 10% and average practices are at. And you're gonna start to see where your money's going. That, and that's where I would start there.